Hey everyone, Jason Weckerly here. If you hear my cat running around meowing and kicking toys around, I apologize. But in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys about a lure that is absolutely deadly. One of the cheapest lures you can buy. It's been around for years, and that is the Johnson Beetle Spin. It's a miniature spinner bait that you can fish all different size jig heads on, different plastics, you can put live minnows, shiners, small suckers. It catches panfish, it catches bass, pike, even walleyes, perch, crappies, bluegills, white bass, rock bass, smallmouth bass. But I'm gonna teach you a bunch of modifications and the versatility of this lure. And I promise you, if you use this lure, whether you're in lakes, rivers, ponds, you will catch some fish. And sometimes it's one of the most underused panfish lures on the market. And it costs like between 89 cents to a buck 50, depending where you find them. Stock up on them. I mean, everything's going up in price right now. They're about a buck fifty probably by this point. But I have another video where my buddy Troy and I go up north and we absolutely slaughter the crappies and bluegills and everything else on this bait. Northern pike. So let me show you some of the things I do to make this lure versatile. Fished different ways with different baits. I'll shut up and show you. So right here, you have your standard beetle spin. It doesn't come with uh, this little hair jig. I tied this actually out of some chenille and some tinsel. Usually I like to use a tube jig or a twister tail, like a Mr. Twister. But this is a 1 32nd ounce jig. I use 1 32nd ounce and 1 16th ounce for panfish. And you can use whatever color, whatever size jig head you want. You can go up to a fourth, maybe even a three eighth ounce, depending on size of the bait and everything. But you can put any of these onto a jig head, any of these baits, and make this lure come alive in different colors and everything else. But you see all these spinner blades laying around my table. And that's because I like to modify these lures by switching out. Here's a little split ring. You can take that blade off the split ring and put whatever color blade you like. And sometimes they want orange. There's my cat over there causing mischief with his little blue spring. He's a psychopath. But you can change the colors of these baits just like you can change, or these spinner blades, just like you can change the color of the bait, the style of the bait. I mean, if you put a Mr. Twister onto that jig head, it's gonna have a curly atch in. You put a tube jig on, it's got a straighter atch in but I never use the plastics that come with these baits. They're like straight, fat, bulky, lifeless, and they catch fish. I mean, they'll catch some bass and crappies sometimes, but the magic of this lure is that you can sit there and pop that little spring open right there. I'm filming with one hand, so I can't really do it but it's kind of like a snap swivel and you can just change out whatever jig head size you want. Like I said, for panfish, one 32nd ounce and one 16th is good. If you're fishing a little deeper, go with an eighth ounce as long as the hook is small enough for the panfish's mouth. But you can also use these for uh, Northern Pike and bass and put bigger twister tails, bigger tube jigs. You can even use uh, 
like soft plastic swim baits, like Northland Mimic Minnow makes these things with these Mimic Minnow jigs on them. Or if you want to go back old school, Al Linder, Ron Linder in fisherman style, you can use these baits with a jig head and a shiner minnow or a sucker minnow for northern pike and bass. But these lures right here are some of the most underrated, greatest lures ever made. The only thing I wish they would do, because you catch so many fish on them, I've had a couple of them break on me, because that wire only lasts so long. I mean, any spinner is gonna break eventually if it catches enough fish, whether it's a musky spinner or a little tiny beetle spin. But I wish they'd make them out of titanium so they'd last forever. Kind of like the old Terminator spinner baits that I've had for like 20 years and have never broke. But uh, I switch out spinner blades. I mean, you can use tiny spinner blades. You can use bigger ones. But these baits really do good with like a larger spinner blade, like the eighth ounce size that Beetle Spin makes. It says Beetle Spin right there. Johnson makes the Beetle Spin, the Johnson Company. But the eighth ounce size spinner blade is like the biggest they go with. If I'm fishing for pike or bass, or sometimes even crappies will go after it. I go slightly bigger as you can see right here but I don't go much bigger than that you don't really need to and you can just use any sort of color you want it's endless as long as you you know modify these baits and you experiment use different color plastics like I said, too, you can go with live shiners, minnows, suckers. Reel them slowly across the weeds for pike and bass, walleyes, whatever. If you look back, there used to be a lure called the Lindy uh, Spin Jig. And it was basically a live bait spinner bait that Al Linder, Ron Linder, the guys who started in Fisherman and Linder's Angling Edge, Invented the Lindy rig, all sorts of dif different techniques and structure fishing and all sorts of stuff. Those guys used to be fishing guides and they would make their money with their clients filling strainers of pike and walleyes and bass. Just taking this bait, putting a 1 fourth to 3 eighth ounce jig head on it, a shiner minnow or a sucker. That is some deadly stuff. That's old school, Midwestern fishing, Canadian fishing right there. Well, I hope this information helps a little. It has your interest and everything in mind because use the beetle spin, use the Northland Mimic Minnow spin, any spinner you can modify bust that clip open, put a different jig head on, different plastic. These things are versatile. They're live bait catching machines with minnows, probably even night crawlers and leeches. But with soft plastics, it's endless. You can switch the blade sizes, shapes, colors. You can do whatever you want with them. They're miniature spinner baits. And if anyone knows what a spinner bait is, Larger spinner baits catch muskies, pike, bass. These are just miniature versions of those. And sometimes the biggest pike in the lake wants that little sucker. They don't even want something large or something in their face. I mean, you'll catch more fish using smaller lures, guaranteed. You might not always catch the biggest ones, but when it comes to panfish, this beetle spin is one of the biggest panfish producers for trophy panfish ever made. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my page, 
hit the like button, and I hope this information helped you. Good luck fishing and take care.